on this lovely afternoon to unite two lives in a bond of unconditional love, acceptance, and support. These vows and promises are made even more meaningful because they're shared with you, the people who taught them what a lasting marriage looks like and how to love unconditionally. photos in your bouquet remind me to take a moment to remember and honor all the people you love and who love you but aren't here with us today. Since the moment we were born, love from our families has transformed us into the people standing here today. Family is the strongest bond known to humankind. So today we honor your families, those who cannot be present today, and celebrate the new family being united. We come into this world not alone, but bearing with us the hopes and longings of those who conceived us. For a brief time, they nurture and care for us, loving us in their own way and in their own time. Then they must send us forth into the world to fulfill that destiny which only we may possess as separate whole persons. Hannah and Dylan have Sola flowers to present to their mothers in gratitude and love. These flowers are made of an everlasting material that will never fade, just like a mother's love. These flowers will last a lifetime. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is the bond of perfection, and let the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful, let the Lord of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another. Singing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Today we join your two lives onto one path. You are promising to love each other unconditionally and to work together during hard times. Today, you become family. Grandpa talking about Grandma. We were a good team. Our love for each other grew and grew and grew. Later in life, we had something special in each other. I continue to cherish the memories. I thank God every day for bringing us together. You become what you love. Love God, love each other. I mean, love the other more than yourself. <laughs> what he always told me, you get me? And you'll have all you need. These rings are made from metals drawn from deep within the earth. May your wedding rings remind you that your love also must be drawn from deep within you. Forged in heat and with great effort, may your wedding rings remind you that your marriage is also crafted daily and tempered in the forge of daily giving and forgiving. Bright like the sun, may your wedding rings remind you that your love is meant to illuminate your lives. 
and round like arms that embrace. May your wedding rings always remind you that human love is a grace upon this planet. With this ring, I gladly marry you. With this ring, I gladly marry you. And join my life to yours. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. And to afford to die. I want you to bottle up this moment and keep it in your heart. So look around, soak up this happiness into your bones. Take a photo with your mind of the love and the joy and the incredible beauty. May the happiness of this moment live within you and may you faithfully keep the vows you have made, the promises that are the foundation for your lives. May you strive all the rest of your lives to meet this commitment to each other with the same love and devotion that you now possess. May you continue to show each other that you unconditionally love each other every day in large and small ways. Take good care of each other. It is now with great happiness that I say to you here at this treehouse, nestled in the incredible beauty of Montana, by the power vested in me by the state of Montana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Okay, close your eyes. Time for your first married kiss.